What's up everybody? I'm Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel and today I'm going to be doing a disassembly of the Tucson TS-138. This is a knife that was sent in uh, for the upcoming knife sale but I am buying this one. I really like this blade shape and the handle feel. Very ergonomic. I will be doing a review of this knife soon. I'm going to use this one and really test it out. But first I want to disassemble it and clean it up a little bit and I want to take these horrendous thumb studs off and uh, see how it functions without them and how it looks without them because I'm not a huge fan of them I'd much rather just use the hole so uh, let's start with them actually let's go ahead and take those off if I remember correctly those are T10 alright alright that came off pretty easily That was simple enough. We'll screw that together and put it somewhere it will not get lost. Honestly, I don't really mind that look with that extra hole in the blade. And I'll tell you why now that I'm looking at it. Because of all the holes in the scales, the hole here, these holes, that extra hole there doesn't look that bad actually. Had some oil under there. Yeah, that didn't look too bad. All right, let's continue disassembling it real quick. I think the other screws are T8. Yeah. Get our T8 out here. Ooh, that pivot's pretty loose. Hmm, this side's backing out on me. Pocket clip screw is going to have to come out. There we go. Let's see if there's a difference in size between these two screws. So we need to separate them. Uh, no, they're identical. So no need to separate those. Hey, that should open her up. Should. Hmm. We're definitely loose up at the pivot, but down here at the butt of the knife, it. Ah, oh, there we go. No, I may have to take this other screw out on this side. Is not wanting to come apart on me, but now that standoff's just going to spin. So, um, all right. Well, we can leave that standoff in there. It must be a very tight fit, because I can do what I need to do without removing it. So, all right. Like we got some washers in there on the bearings. Same bearings Tucson always uses. They work great though. Never had an issue with them. Let's get this washer out of there. Or try. There it goes. All right. Yeah, let's clean everything up. It's already really clean. Really didn't need to be disassembled. I just wanted to do it and take a look at it. And uh, I actually wanted to get that thumb set off for sure. I don't have the ability to cut a blade, but it would be cool to just continue this hole out right there. And just make that one big hole. But that's going to be above my ability to do with metal. And I'd be afraid I'd mess up the heat treat. And this is D2 still, so not my favorite, of course, but that's all right. I'm going to use this knife. I'll oil the blade regularly and take care of it, and it'll be just fine. I've got other D2 knives that I've used a crap out of. 
I may oil them every month or two, the blade, and I've had no issues whatsoever with rust or corrosion. And I live somewhere where it is extremely humid, so you know, it hasn't been an issue for me yet. Of course, I do take care of my knives, so if you don't take care of them, you could get have issues, but it's like anything else, right? If you're good to it, it'll be good to you. Clean that hole out right there. Ah, I got a little cut on my finger, paper cut. That alcohol burns like fire. All right, get in here, right here. I put this sticker on my board here for disassemblies because I've noticed a lot of my videos end up halfway on the camera, halfway off the camera because the way I've got the camera recording, I can't see the screen while I'm working on the knife to see where I'm at. So if I put this sticker here and I always put the camera in the same place, I should be able to stay under the camera better. So I notice that's I know that's something that uh, I have an issue with for sure. All right, looks like we have a captive pivot, and the flat part needs to face the butt of the knife. This is a thick void here too. This is a thick knife, which really uh, contributes to the ergos. Ergos are really good on this knife, especially when you choke up to that forward finger choil. Super comfy. Ooh, that's more than I wanted. Let's get rid of a little bit of that. All right. Go around the pivot. A little bit on the scale there. Drop our berry or our washer in. Spin it around a little bit. Drop a berry in on there. Spin it around a little bit. All right. Add a little more luby doob. More than I wanted again. Dab a little of that off. I'm going to put a little bit in here. See if it'll hold this other washer in. I don't know what's going on down here. I don't know why that doesn't want to come apart. It should not be held. Oh, it, it will come apart now. Huh. That's different. It's a different kind of standoff there. It's like a standoff with a standoff. Or that's the sleeve of a screw with a standoff over top of it. That's why it was doing what it was doing. And I just let the pivot fall out. Hmm. Inter interesting. A lot of milling inside this knife for weight reduction. It's under five ounces and it's a thick full titanium knife. I love the way this thing looks too. All right, where was I? At? I was over here. That's right. Get a little bit in there, a little bit in there, a little bit in there, and a little bit right there. Drop you there, and you there. And I think we're ready. It was pretty simple, huh? Very simple. So gotta make sure our pivot's facing the right way though, and not let it fall out on us. I'm gonna close that blade up. I'm gonna turn the captive part out a little bit, the way I can get it over here, get it lined up right. Find that works, then turn it back to where the rest everything else lines up. Find that works very well for me with captive pivots. All right, get this started. Just pocket clip on here. Pocket clip's really nice on this also. Really good pocket clip. I may do some anodizing to this knife later on. So many different surfaces to play around with. I'm not sure yet if I will or not, but I've been thinking about it. Could do some pretty cool stuff with the with having uh you know areas where it's milled out and lower and then you get the mill milling on the edges there. So could be do some cool stuff with this one. Alright, let's tighten these down. 
Let's check our action. Ooh, that definitely went too tight, I think. Yeah, maybe not. How's our centering? We're almost dead centered, but let's play with it and see what it does here. See if it moves on us. That's pretty tight there. How's the action? Very good. I'm not going to lock tight this yet. I probably will down the road once I'm done fidgeting as much as I normally do and decide if I'm going to anodize it or not. So it does have a detent ramp on this one. you got to push it past that ramp. Very nice. Very nice. What do you guys think about the hole in the blade? looks kind of funky without that thumb stud there, but I think it looks better than it does with that thumb stud there. And I love this warning, that blade shape. Love that blade shape. And this grip right here is so good. Feels so good in hand. It's a thick knife. I'm going to do a, a review of it, like I said, but let's, let me show you how thick it is. Here it is next to a penguin. So, pretty thick, thick knife. It's even thicker in the middle. Yeah, very comfy. Love it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. That is the disassembly of the Tucson TS-138, a Wong design. Pretty cool little knife, in my opinion. And uh, it's going to see a lot of use in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you on the next one.